Jupiter and Aquarius. Oh boy. <laughs> so I hope you've made the most of the past two and a half months while Jupiter was in its home sign of Pisces because as of the 28th, Jupiter has made its move back into Aquarius. On the very exact day Jupiter moved back into Aquarius, two very predictable things happened. The CDC decided to re-recommend the masks to be worn everywhere again, and Bitcoin shot up about $10,000 after falling for about two and a half months straight, right after Jupiter entered Pisces. So what does that mean? Quite literally, it means that Jupiter, the planet of expansion, right? People call it the Great Benefic, but it's the planet of expansion. There's no good or bad planets. They just manifest what they do, and Jupiter expands things, right? So the planet of expansion is now here to support the air economy, which is digital money. And unfortunately, Jupiter is also back to expand all things air-related. You get the hint, right? That includes airborne illnesses. So Jupiter and Pisces, right? That's what we just got out of for the past two and a half months. That experience can make us a bit dreamy, right? It's Pisces, right? My heart kind of goes out to all the people that don't have a clue about astrology. They're clueless, right? They thought probably that with the new therapies that we have for the virus, that we're all out of the woods. All's good now with all those issues being behind us now, right? I know here in the States, we had Independence Day, large gatherings came back, festivals, all those things opened up. And now, just like uh, March of last year, you might have already heard inklings of places canceling events, starting to bring back some familiar limitations. Just like the saying in that show goes, winter is coming. And there is a nasty T-square aspect coming in mid-September which basically is two square aspects, right? Happening at once. A square is a planet's energy going this way and another one's going that way and they bump heads. Well, this is happening twice in two different directions. And this is gonna be happening on a very important axis known as the world axis related to world events. This is gonna be taking place around mid-September. And this is a, basically why I wanted to make this video because I would just highly suggest that if there's loved ones you wanna see things you want to do, dating you want to get in, toilet paper, groceries you want to accumulate, that you get those things done in August. If you have travel plans that you've made for the rest of this year, after mid-September, you might want to make sure that there's some flexibility to them. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but what good is having a personal astrologer if you're not warned ahead of time when you should be warned about things? The good news is that Jupiter will eventually return back into Pisces on the 28th of December. So we got about five months of this resurgence, right? In the meantime, Jupiter is going to be retrograding, meaning moving backwards from our perception on Earth to about mid-October in the sign of Aquarius. So what does that mean for you on a personal level? Well, look back at your life this year. What were you up to in the beginning of January up until about the second week or so of May? Whatever unfinished business you started then, you will be able to finish in the next five months. So in this way, you can do your own personal reading for yourself, right? Of course, I could do a deep dive for you and tell you what would be moving forward after October, you know, when Jupiter stops retrograding and starts moving forward. But if you're one of those people that keeps a diary or a journal, go, go look back, see what was going on earlier this year to see what themes you can expect to be finishing up for the rest of 2021. Regardless of that, let's do a quick general overview of the themes that you can expect. So... Those themes, Aquarius, this is the sign that Jupiter is moving into. Aquarius is all about fairness, being inclusive, as well as being an individual. And it covers topics of humanitarianism, issues related to the larger community as a whole. Jupiter's expansion is always at the risk of being just a bit too much. And that's where some of those wisdom and generosity and, and learnings that we get from Jupiter come from. In the sign of Aquarius... Jupiter can make us silly humans a bit reactive and rebellious rather than progressive when Jupiter gets overdone, right? We can also be quite stubborn because Aquarius tends to be a stubborn sign, especially with that last square to Uranus coming up at the end of this year, which you know we'll talk about later. That could be pretty explosive or pretty expansive, you know, in a, in a shocking, liberating kind of way. Significators of Uranus there. On the flip side, 
what we can overdo comes to be with the things that we think need to be done for the community. And we can even be a bit too preachy, Jupiter, or idealistic, Jupiter, about what the collective or the community should or shouldn't be doing. Oddly enough, even though with what I'm hinting at, this can also be a good period to be social. You could translate that as to more Zoom fatigue or an increased use of social media for the remainder of the year. Hopefully you guys did get out a little bit with Jupiter while Jupiter was in Pisces, but if not, again, Jupiter will be back in Pisces starting next year. Next year we'll have its own issues in astrology, of course, which we'll dive into, but Jupiter will be moving out of Aquarius, so we will have a shift at the end of this year. What this supports, though, is teaching, mentoring, sharing information, all like what we're kind of doing here right now. These are the kinds of things that are going to be supported for the rest of the year. Okay. Jupiter in Aquarius is going to encourage a progressive approach to how we do business, emphasizing progress, science, culture, this dynamic of the individual versus the community and how these things can come together, the individual versus society, how these things can come together. At the same time, we have Saturn in Aquarius that wants to keep all of our ideas and dreams that Jupiter is bringing in, he wants to keep it real, keep it practical, right? While Jupiter is asking us to grow, expand, and believe, Saturn is asking us to simplify, test, and question. As we said earlier, Aquarius has to do with the air economy. Aquarius is an air sign. Right? So you may have noticed in the beginning of the year that businesses that were able to shift into providing their services online through the air, they were, those were the ones that were able to adapt and to stay afloat. We will see more of that going into the remainder of this year. Businesses related to science, electronics, new age principles, alternative health methods, astrology, yoga, sociology, teaching online, all of these things will continue to grow and do well. Jupiter here is going to want us caring more about progress than we do about precedent or past traditions or the way things were done in the past. Innovation is going to become more important than the hard, solid experience, right? Because Jupiter is going to want to expand that individualism and that rebelliousness and the sense of science and technology and, you know, that type of thing. For example, you could say, Getting to solutions to market at warp speed becomes more prioritized over waiting for the hard, crystallized experience of long-term analysis that can only be done with time. That's not an opinion, that is just a plain fact of the proper interpretation of the astrology. As soon as we received that code, we were able to immediately start designing the vaccine, and in three hours we had a design ready and ready to go. Three so hours. three hours to oh design a, a vaccine. So we downloaded the sequences from the Chinese government, we put it into our proprietary algorithm that generates the vaccines, and in two hours we had the vaccine already designed, and it went straight into manufacture. Once Saturn is left alone to be in Aquarius, then we might take a more harder, concrete look at what the innovations Aquarius is trying to bring us can actually manifest. We'll have more data. We'll be able to take more of a long-term view of things when Saturn is left alone in the sign of Aquarius. There is a labor shortage out there in the world today. So companies with a stronger focus on being more progressive, with a strong vision for the future, Jupiter and Aquarius, right? Aquarius being, you know, different, rebellious, thinking about the collective, Jupiter being a visionary. We're blending those civic significations. Companies that are interested in change and improvement for the community, Aquarius, those are the ones that will do well when it comes to hiring new employees and growing their business, okay? Companies that support more flexible hours and work locations will do much better as well. Or if you are looking for work, you might find yourself more attracted to these types of companies. When it comes to relationships, with Jupiter and Aquarius and Saturn and Aquarius too, that means more online dating, less physicality, which you single people out there have probably already figured out from earlier this year. Friendship and community matters become more important for the collective humanity, more so than romantic matters, generally speaking. Aquarius, you got to understand, is one of the most detached and introverted and independent signs of all the 12 signs in the zodiac. And both Jupiter and Saturn there will only turn up the dial on that independent, introverted type of energy. Saturn in Aquarius, which you've probably already experienced, 
is going to test friendships and relationships to see how real they actually are. Saturn is a lean and mean machine, man. You've been feeling this, right? Any friendships or relationships of yours that have weak foundations, I'm pretty sure those foundations have been made clear to you. If not, don't worry, they will. Saturn in Aquarius is here to challenge your relationships and either make them stronger or cut them loose. Saturn is like the god of time, and by 2023, before it makes its exit into the sign of Pisces, whatever relationships needed to end or be strengthened will be the case before Saturn makes its move into Pisces. Now that we have Jupiter in Aquarius, we will feel more of a sense of friendship and acceptance to the relationships we do have, and maybe even making some new friends or joining some new communities with the remainder of 2021. Now more than ever, long-term compatibility and sharing the same vision with your friends, co-workers, or romantic partners becomes super important. Saturn in Aquarius makes us way more practical and long-term visionaries in our approach and wherever Saturn ends up in your chart, Saturn being in the sign of Aquarius, wherever Aquarius is in your chart. So where in the past people might judge superficially, like, oh, he's got a nice car, oh, she's got some nice jewelry. I want to hang out with them, I want to be their friend. Instead, we're going to be asking ourselves, okay, nice car, dude, nice jewelry, girl, but what are your beliefs? What's going on in that brain of yours? And do we connect on that? That's going to be more of the energy now. Because, as we've said earlier, Aquarius is about independence and friendship and communication. For your existing relationships, the ones that you do have, it's a good idea to give those existing relationships and partners that you have some room to be alone for the next five months, you know, talk things out, and build on your friendship. Do the things that are fun for you guys in whatever ways that you can. Even though Jupiter is here to expand the more humanitarian side of Aquarius, Saturn is stronger here. So not agreeing on principles or visions with people will continue to be an issue, as we've already seen it be, and that could still cause breakups, job terminations, or even family splits, all based on beliefs and principles this year. Aquarius is also non-traditional. So with Jupiter and Aquarius the rest of the year, non-traditional things will be expanded. Jupiter is a planet of expansion, right? Here the kids or people nowadays are doing Zoom dates, right? That's not a traditional thing at all. And it's, it's an example of being progressive and being community oriented and using this air element of Aquarius, which rules technology. So to succeed in business and relationships while Jupiter's making this transit for the next five months, It'll be good for you to lean on putting your progressive, your unique, your intelligent, humanitarian side of things more on display and amping those things up more on yourself, right? You can improve your relationships by communicating more and listening well, right? So if you know your chart, you can combine these descriptions with the house placement that you have the sign of Aquarius in to know which area of life this will be taking place. So, for example, if you're Aries rising, ascendant, and Jupiter just moved into your 11th house, which is the house of social networks, accomplishments, rewards, and all the other things that the 11th house represents, we're not going to get into that. If none of that makes sense to you, though, feel free to check out my schedule, invest in booking some time together, and we'll dive deep in whatever you want to know. So, that's a general idea of what to expect. Once again, a kind, loving, gentle reminder to maybe get whatever travel, visitations, or stocking up of items that you want to get done before mid-September so that you're at least prepared for a more restrictive social experience as we move into the winter, winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Be well, take care, one love, peace.